Hi guys, what's up? Channel M here and today I'm really excited to make this video. As you guys know that uh, Mac OS Sierra was the last operating system for the Mac and Apple has introduced OS High Sierra. Today is the 25th of September 2017 and we are just going to go and download it. So first of all, what you need to do is uh, if you would just go into your uh, Apple logo over here and click about this Mac it would show you what operating system you have. In case if you have a, an older operating system, say if you have one of the very oldest versions, then I wouldn't suggest you to upgrading it. But if you've got Mac OS Sierra, I would recommend you to upgrade it. So the best thing is that you can just click software update from here. That would open up this dialog box, which all your applications over here where you can download, it's your app store. Click update, you won't actually find it as an update over here. So don't get confused. All you have to do is you just have to search and it should come up. Click over here and that would open up the application itself, would give you all the details on it. This is one of the major updates for the MacBook. So it's it can be installed on the iMac and the MacBook and the MacBook Pros and all the Macs. It's got improved browsing experience. A mail has completely been changed. Spotlight has been changed. Uh, there's an upgrade in the note. FaceTime is again changed. You can take pictures into FaceTime. And then you have a universal clipboard. So guys, there are a lot of features. I would recommend you to uh, read through the features because it's quite interesting as it's a very big upgrade. The size is 4.80 GB. That's 4.8 GB. That is very big. So once you hit the download button, you would see the spinning wheel over here. Once that is ready, it'll give you a calculating bar over here. And it all depends on your internet connection speed. Now, my internet connection isn't that great. So that's why it's giving me seven to eight hours. After it's downloaded, I'm going to install it and I'm going to carry on the video from there. So uh, the download has already been done. All we have to do is just hit continue and it will basically uh, run you through the agreement. Then you have to agree again. You have to choose your hard disk, click install, and that's pretty much it. And it says Mac OS High Sierra version 1013. To be honest, I don't find any difference, but obviously there are a lot of changes which Apple has made. So I've just opened up the calendars, it shows me over here that Siri now suggests that events found in email, messages in Safari, and calendar uses Apple Maps to look up locations, traffic conditions, and transit. The first instance, I don't feel any difference. Maps, there isn't much change in the maps as well. I did feel that there is a lot of difference in the Safari, say Safari is opening up more faster which is quite interesting the lag is not there anymore otherwise it was slow and the bbc website yeah so yeah it's much more faster it was not as fast as this but it's it's better so let's say channel 4 it's much more faster so what's new in photos live photo effects create loops bounce and long exposure from your live photos good live photo editing now you can choose a new key photo trim and mute your live photos advanced editing tools easily make sophisticated contrasts and color adjustments to your photos and powerful tools like curves and selective color that is the photos quick tour uh, browse the way you like search for object scenes multiple photos at once add effects to live photo let's see what changes they've made in the app store not much it's the same <laughs> interesting no i don't see much difference in the contacts notes pin notes pin your most important notes to the top of the list interesting organize and display information better with tables oh yeah they've not got tables inside it Oh yeah. So in the mailbox, I don't see my changes in the mailbox instantly. Let's go and write an email. That is interesting. That is fantastic. Now, so guys, as I said, there must be lots of other changes which I really don't know. Thanks for watching and do subscribe, like and share as usual and give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you in my next video. Cheers. Bye.